Hello everyone, welcome to Set Apart is 144. My name is Sister Mildred. Welcome to this channel and welcome to this ministry. So in today's video, I would like to share a little story with you guys and to also um, with that, with me sharing this story, uh, hopefully it can bring you some encouragement, okay, to continue uh, doing what Abba has called you to do in within his kingdom okay um okay so i work at a warehouse right now just right now i'm <laughs> i'm not gonna be there for long um and you know i came face to face with uh adversity right Okay, so uh, sometime last week, um, you know, I was having a conversation with this kid. He's he's like he's nineteen years old, right? Um, I feel like I was leading me to bring share the gospel with him, so I was. Um, he he mentioned that he did not have a Bible, so I. I put it back in my mind to maybe one day buy him a Bible, and then and he, he, he and he's also always limping because his feet is always hurting him at the workplace. So, um, this past weekend, I decided. I'm sorry, not last week. I decided to you know what? Why don't I just get him some consoles? to put in his on his in his in his shoes um that will help his feet better you know so that he could perform better at work and also um get him the bible so yeah i did that i got a gift bag i made it all nice i got i put candy in there for him a bible a journal um and the consoles right and i bought it to him uh for to him uh, at work and he was so grateful so grateful um you know that was his first bible he never gotten he, he's never gotten a bible before and he was so appreciative for the consoles and everything like that so um it was nice it was nice and then but then later on that day <laughs> so yeah later on in the shift um uh, during that shift there was this big uh jug uh, steel of a metal steel jug humongous okay and uh, it tipped over it fell on my feet okay it fell on my feet and i was in uh so much pain extreme pain okay so much pain where I had to stop and uh, I couldn't continue working on my shift, so on and so forth. Um, everybody was concerned, you know, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Um, yeah, everyone was everyone was concerned that it would have been like black and blue. It started my feet started to change color a little bit, like a little like little like purple a little bit. Um, I was in so much pain. Um, thankfully, it happened on my left foot. So I was able to drive back home that night with my right foot. But yeah, it was I was in so much pain. Um, so now the next day when I woke up, uh, I didn't feel no more pain. Like the pain was gone. And that's not heard of at all because usually whenever you get a bruise or you know or something whatever it takes a couple of days for it to go down for the pain to diminish you understand because it was uh, again it was a it was a metal steel jug that fell on my feet and like it was i was in so much pain um <laughs> so when I woke up the next day, the pain was gone. The pain was gone. Um, I remembered uh, 
like having like these thoughts in my mind like you know what i'm done i'm done with this job <laughs> this warehouse job i'm just done like like the same day i help someone with you know i buy a bible for someone that like the bibles are not cheap they're very expensive like goodness great i couldn't find uh anyway <laughs> but anyway you know i'm like i you know i i just help someone you know and and this is the help this is what i get back <laughs> like i'm like what um the same day you know i bought this this kid or this nice gift and anyway so yeah i'm human right so we all feel discouraged uh once in a while sometimes you know um but again so yeah i, I felt like i just wanted to quit <laughs> i'm like you know um you know i'm getting bruises and all this stuff I'm, i have to go through just to work this job and um it's not even paying much or it's not even uh i'm not really seeing a difference as far as income for my household so on and so forth. I know that Abba sent me there though, to um for at, in the uh, for a mission, um, he's planted me there for a mission. So, but I was just feeling like I just didn't want to work there anymore. And then um, during my uh, devotion, I opened my Bible and I landed, my eyes landed on Romans ten, uh, verse fifteen. Where it says, um, where it says, uh, that is why the scriptures say, how beautiful are the feet of messengers who bring good news. So what instantly when I read that verse, um, the Holy Spirit, uh, just, he spoke to me. He, he he said, "How beautiful are the feet who of of the messengers who bring good news." Um, <laughs> it was a beautiful moment that I had with um, Yahusha Hamashiach. Uh, he gave me so much encouragement to keep going, um, and he revealed to me that it was I don't know like overnight. Uh, he touched he healed my feet my feet the, i didn't have to take any pain medication or anything like that he like he just healed my feet it, the bruise went away the col the discoloring of my feet went away i when I tell you it was i should have taken a picture um i don't know if i would have showed it to this platform though but i should have taken a picture though it the bruise like it took up like my whole entire feet like it was like man <laughs> wow and i'm I'm a light-skinned uh woman okay so you can my feet was discolored all right um so when i woke up the next day it was gone the pain a lot the pain the discoloring was gone I, i'm like what usually that takes a while you know i've gotten bruises before you know i know what i'm talking about but um yeah, that was him. How beautiful are the feet of messengers who bring good news. Your feet are beautiful. <laughs> okay. Um I just wanted to just encourage those who are growing tired, worry, uh if you're going through any type of persecutions, trials, um, wherever that you're planted in, wherever your post is at, it could be an online a platform, you could be a, a, a street preacher. Oh, street preachers go through a lot. Um, goodness gracious. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter where you're at, where Abba's using you in your talents, you know, um, singing, art, uh, writing, you know, um, wherever you are, that I was using you to spread the gospel, okay? 
I want to encourage you to keep going and that Abba sees you. And he says, how beautiful are the feet of the messengers who, who bring the good news. Wow. When he, when he, when my eyes landed on that verse, he spoke to me in that verse. Uh, and he, he made all of the, uh, doubts and, uh, discouraging f- emotions that I was feeling. It just instantly went away and he healed my feet instantly. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> I can, oh my goodness. Uh, it is an honor. It's 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 a privilege and honor, uh, to be a child of the Most High. Um, you know, <laughs> um, the enemy. You know, he got upset at me because you know this kid, a nineteen year old kid, just got a Bible for the first time in his life, and you know, he, he, you know, I could probably got that was probably an attack. Uh, the way the jug fell on my feet, the, man, you know, but I about just quickly um, re- repaired me and uh, he he repaired me physically and spiritually as well with his own words. OK, and it's it's funny because I got the kid consoles to help his feet to work to perform better at work. Right. And then my feet got attacked. You can't, you cannot make this up. I got the kid consoles because I was just, I got the kid some consoles. <laughs> I got him some consoles, you know, for his feet. Cause he's always limping. He's, his feet always hurting him. He works a lot at, at over there. Um, and I, I kind of felt bad, you know, my, my, Mother intuition, my mother, my Nate and my uh, nurturing uh, took over me. And I'm like, let me get him some consoles. And I bought him a Bible too. So I get, <laughs> but it's crazy how I helped his feet out and then my feet got attacked. <laughs> and then, you know, the right, uh, right after that, Abba seen how I was feeling and all that. And he just came through. He, he and he gave me his word. He says, how beautiful are the feet of the messengers who bring good news. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is. is... That was like everything, you know. Um... So, yeah, Uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. and for, to, to help you guys to keep going, no matter what's going on, you know, Ab, again, Abba sees everything and he is so proud of you. He's so happy that he can, um, he's using you to make a difference in this world. You are here on purpose for a purpose, um, to help save souls to the kingdom, no matter how Abba is using you, um, again, with your gifts, your talents, your spiritual uh, gifts. Okay, your calling, your mantle, mandates, your whatever post that he has you posted at, wherever wherever he has plant um planted you at. Okay, you are making a difference. Um, you're planting seeds, and he's the one who's growing them. Right, you're spreading the gospel. Um, through your actions, how you act towards people, uh, your minis- your your marriage could be a ministry. Um, somebody's watching you. Somebody's watching you. <laughs> okay, somebody is taking notes on how to be a wife or be a husband, uh, a mentor. You know, your whatever that you're doing. Um, Abba says, how beautiful are the feet um, of messengers who bring the good news. You're so special. And I thank Abba. I thank him for your life. And I thank you for everything that you are doing for the kingdom of Yah. Um, everything that you do does not go unnoticed. Uh, and every, you know you will be rewarded as well for everything that you do. You give him back to the community. You, you, know, you help the homeless. You give back to the homeless. 
you're 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 cooking for you, you you know you have a charity a nonprofit organization uh you're you're a missionary you know you Abba has you traveling uh you know you, you pass out flyers in your community you give back to your community you know out, you, you're doing humanita- humanitarian work whatever that Abba is using you for whatever area whatever you're in the church building giving back towards your church whatever that you, they have you as you know an, an usher whatever it whatever wherever you're at whatever that you're doing with your hands your mouth your 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 spreading the gospel your you you're, you're getting up and doing something to help someone else to um all of that is in it all of that all of that you know you're sharing love you're giving love to people who needs love um being generous okay you give back no in, in whatever way a smile a hug complimenting people uplifting people encouraging people no matter what whatever that you're doing whatever okay um uh abba sees you he sees you and i i just want to uh, personally thank you uh whatever you're doing for our kingdom to make it better i thank you i thank you <laughs> uh so yes i just wanted to just make this video uh for for those and encourage those to keep going keep going you're helping somebody don't stop um keep showing up to whatever flock whatever little flock that you may have that abba entrusted you in to influence to help uh to be a better person to be um to to help follow yahushua okay um keep showing up you don't know whose life that you are saving um whatever that you're doing okay keep doing it keep doing it all right um yes <laughs> i love you guys so much with the love of christ my name is sister mildred thank you for tuning in for christ we live for christ our flesh dies until next time shalom